Britain used to be safe place for individuals. It used to be safe place for ex-Muslims or anyone who was running for their safety. It was safe heaven. Last few years things changed. Illegal immigrants decided, illegal Muslim immigrants decided to invade Britain under the asylum seeking. They come to Britain. Now Britain is not safe for anyone, especially not safe for ex-Muslim Christians as well as it is not safe for elderly people. BBC just shared the news that a radical Muslim, a Muslim from Morocco, I'll take out the radical, Muslim from Morocco stopped his housemate simply because housemate become a Christian. He was a Muslim, become a Christian, and Moroccan Muslim decided Allah is not pleased with him, therefore he's gonna feed his bloodthirsty Allah by stabbing him. After stabbing him, he went out and stopped multiple multiple times. 70 years old man. Let's read the news together. Moroccan asylum seeker Ahmed Alit was jailed for life with a minimum term of 45 years. A man who stopped a stranger to death in an attack, described by a judge as a terrorist act, has been jailed for life. Moroccan asylum seeker Ahmed Alit, his asylum seeker from a Muslim country in Britain, practicing Islam, roamed into the streets of Hartlepool looking for a victim to attack revenge for Hamas, Israel Hamas conflict in October. You kind of wonder, you know, those Muslims, they don't want to go to Saudi Arabia. They don't want to go to Muslim majority countries. They come to Britain, seek the revenge for Hamas terrorist organization. They killed in the name of and supporting the Hamas terrorist organization. Welcome to Britain. He killed 70 years old Trince Carney by stabbing him multiple times. Sentencing Ahmed Alid for life on Friday, the judge said the killer had hoped to frighten the British people and undermine the freedom they enjoy. Well, we don't have freedom at all in Britain anymore. Once upon a time, there was freedom. That was when the police was uphold the law for everyone. But now, there is law different for Muslims, there is another law for Christians, there is another law for different. There is a couple of different tiers policing happening in Britain and British police willingly bow down to Islam. Not good, not good. Ahmed Alit was also found guilty of the attempted murder of his housemate Javid Nuri. So Javid Nuri is the ex-Muslim Christian. Look at this murderer. This is the picture of the murderer. Moroccan asylum seeker Ahmed Alid, 45 years old, stopped 70 years old man multiple times. Ahmed Alid was described as the following an extreme version of Islam by the prosecutors. Had told police the attackers were in protest against the Israel and Gaza conflict. He spoke through an Arabic interpreter during the trial and had admitted stabbing the two men but denied he intended to kill or cause any serious harm. I, I just don't understand this part, you know. I experienced as well. So people want people stop you. Oh, they didn't mean to kill you. What? Oh, they were just trying to check if their knife is working. Or they were trying to just do their daily exercise by building their muscles up. Someone is putting a knife on your body without your permission. And they didn't mean to harm you. People scream out, oh yeah, we will kill her, we will kill him. Oh, actually, they didn't mean to harm you. That's the st stupidness of Islam. Yeah, I murdered him, but I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to harm him. I just wanted to see if my fingers are working well. The judge ruled that Ahmed Ali had committed terrorist offense when he murdered Mr. Carney and attempt to murder his housemate, Mr. Nouri. She said, the murder of Mr. Mr. Carney was a terrorist act in which you hope to influence the British government. And they are doing very good at it, actually. You hope to frighten the British people and undermine the freedom they enjoy. The court heard 
Ahmed Ali forced his way into Mr. Nuri's room in the early hours of 15th October and stabbed him. Alid shouted Allah Akbar, God is great, joining the attack at the home of his approved asylum seekers accommodation. Lots of serious things are here, okay? It is, it is really, really very ugly when man thinks it's okay to get into someone's bedroom without their permission. That is just ugly by itself. And another like very serious thing in here, he does this early in early hours. You are in a deep sleep and someone is just trying to get into your room and gets into your room and stops you in your sleep or does things to you when you are just like still sleeping. And then that's not enough. He screams, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, blah, blah. Yes, your Allah is a bloodthirsty mouse. A God who rejoice and then who wants the blood of non-Muslims. That's a bloodthirsty God. You should have kept away from him. And ex-Muslim who become a Christian and Muslim are staying in the same house. See the wisdom of our home office? They are brainless. I don't want to call them stupid because I know I am going to insult the stupid people. You are putting ex-Muslim Christian and Muslim in one house. Oh, did you run out these five-star hotels? Did you run out the houses? Stupidness. Sorry, I didn't want to insult the stupid people. After that attack, Ahmed Ali fled into the street and came across Mr. Carney, who was out for a regular early morning walk nearby. So... After stabbing this person, there is no regret or remorse at all. He goes out and then still looking for people to harm. And in this occasion, he meets with 70 years old man and then stops him multiple times to murder him. You go after elderly man who is unable to defend himself. You go after a man who is in a sleep, who is unable to defend himself. Is see how strong religions this Islam is. Islam is so strong. Their followers goes after the elderly ones who cannot protect themselves. Wonderful ideology. In a holding cell in Middlesbrough police station, he gives this speech: "Allah willing, Gaza will be a Arab country, all that." And then he also goes on and then talks about how he would continue with his revenge and harm people if his hand was not injured. So man's intention is continue to murder people, but he couldn't do it because his hand got injured. Ahmed Ali, who strongly disproved of his housemate Mr. Nuri's conversion to Christianity said, God was displeased with those who went astray. So did you pick up the reason? The reason Moroccan asylum seeker is killing another asylum seeker in Britain because this asylum seeker decided to walk away from Islam and become a Christian. And apparently that made Allah displeased. Therefore, that person should be murdered. In Britain, I'm not talking about in Saudi Arabia, in Pakistan, in Iran. In Britain, you are you cannot practice your religion if you if you were ex-Muslim before. Allah was displeased because someone walked away from Allah and become a Christian. Therefore, Mr. Ahmed is going to feed his bloodthirsty God by trying to murder Mr. Nuri. And Mr. Nuri's crime is walking away from Islam and becoming a Christian. Islam teaches this is I think now basic. He's not doing like by himself. He's not like, oh yeah, bunch of person just didn't know what to do. He knows this is what Islam teaches. Muhammad teaches in the Hadith, kill those who change their religion. That's what Mr. Ahmed is doing. He knows Allah is displeased when you walked away from him. Therefore, you should be murdered. In Britain. In victim statement, Mr. Carney's wife, Patricia, 
said she found it impossible to talk about her husband's death and felt numb. I don't feel anything. I have lost everything. I don't feel I can be happy anymore. I feel I'm constantly putting an act and brave face for my family. He used to love going out for an early morning walk. He thought he was safe, but a chance encounter ended his life. Mr. Carney said she could no longer go into the town because it was too painful to be near the spot where her husband is being murdered. Mr. Nuri, um, who is being stopped for simply being ex-Muslim Christian, says he did not trust anyone or anything and all thoughts and feelings I had of being a safe country had gone. Now he picked up Britain, in Britain, as an ex-Muslim I am not safe. In his victim statement, he edited, I would expect to be arrested and killed in my home country for converting to Christianity, but I did not expect to be attacked in my sleep in here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I get murdered or arrested in Pakistan or in Saudi Arabia in Muslim majority country. But in Britain, where I came to seek safety, I don't feel safe. This is the last place I would expect someone to harm me because I am ex-Muslim, but it happened. How is it possible for someone to destroy someone's life because of his religion? It is possible with Islam. It is possible with Islam. Mr. Nuri said how he now struggled with mental health problems and had to move, move to cities, losing all of his friends. When people come after you, next thing you do is you move from one place to another place to seek safety. Now convert to Islam, convert to Christianity from Islam. Going from one place to other place, has no church, has no friends. It's going to take long, long, long time. Please pray for him. Pray for him to find good sound church and have a good fellowship. I want to tell Ahmed, you are a weak person. Because of your religion, you attack someone in a deep sleep and an old man who struggled to walk. Yep. That's what big people do. Spot on. And then here, what we have is terrorism policing says, oh, he was not in our radars. If he was in your radars, what would you do? Nothing. We've seen you've done nothing when people were in your radar. Of course, BBC goes on and then plays this victim card for asylum seekers. Now, asylum seekers, Muslim asylum seekers, of course, in the context, don't feel safe. Don't feel safe. Poor, poor, poor radical Muslims. They come to invade Britain, but now they don't feel safe. Why? Because their brothers are murdering elderly men. Why? Because their brothers are murdering ex-Muslims. Britain hasn't been safe for the last couple of years. Why? Because illegal Muslim immigrants under the seeking asylum coming to invade the country and they have done a very good job. None is safe. None is safe. Please, please pray for Javid that he finds safe place, safe home, safe church, safe fellowship and he grows in his love towards Lord Jesus Christ. While Britain is not a safe place anymore for especially ex-Muslims and elderly, seems like every non-Muslims, I want us to remember that in the times of trouble, only one can help us, only one we can look for help is our triune God. No one else is going to help you, no one else is going to keep you safe beside our triune God.